the the program, the cert training uh, program, is open to all community members. Uh, we have the program both in English and Spanish, and the program is provided free of cost uh, to a, a group of people that would like to participate in the training. Well, we started this training, I think, maybe five years ago, the first classes, and uh, the idea is to try to get our community better prepared for disasters. This class is great. It's not only for medical professionals, but also for uh, anybody. Um, there's a job for every, anybody if a disaster happens. And to me, because I have a lot of experience in disaster situations, uh, it's real important that we include the whole community in this. And so our goal is, is actually to have one CERT team member on each block in each town in the city, in each city in the valley. The way that we are actually hosting the trainings is when a group of individuals uh, gets together uh, and requests the training. This could be a neighborhood uh, group, it could be a, a group of uh, interested individuals, whether it's from work or maybe school related, and we train them uh, to basically be ready for a, for a disaster, to incorporate themselves into the larger picture of disaster response and uh, be a benefit to their community with the skill sets that they learn. I feel like everyone should be prepared in case of an emergency. Many families, I don't think, have a plan if something were to happen, and here earthquakes could happen. It takes as long as 96 hours for you know, state and federal government to come in and help us, so it's real important that we're able to help each other in the initial state. Uh, stage after a disaster strikes. The, the basic training is a, the 20 hour training and the students have to participate not only in classroom type of activity but also have to participate out in simulations in which they uh, uh, practice putting out a real fire and simulate rescue operations, search and rescue operations. I've never put out a fire before so that was an, in, that was an experience we got to do that so now I'll know what I'm doing when I have a fire extinguisher Basically, it comes down to trained people volunteering their time to join these organizations and maybe to help do some training so that we can make these programs grow.